Well, good evening everybody out there on YouTube. This is Sparky Mike. Welcome to the Old School Reefer channel. Thought I'd give an update to my updates. So, here's a freshwater tank tonight. And a really large monster loach. Who I have had for six years plus, I think, at this point. So... And unfortunately, the discus is a replacement. He was replaced a couple years ago. Unfortunately, my old original got sick and died. Scuffed himself above his eye, and by the next day when I got medication, it was over. So here's a new guy tonight. Getting hungry. Almost dinner time. I can show you size relative. I'm sorry I didn't clean the glass before this video. I figured I'd do a quick overview. I don't know if you can see it, but. I've also built a kitty porch, a window kitty porch, basically a box that is up next to the outside of the house and on the screen. Momo. Hey buddy, we're both out here enjoying their outside time. Hi, Mo. And so we'll get on with the video. And here's the display tank tonight. And again, I apologize for not cleaning the glass before the video. I haven't done it since Saturday or something, so I'm overdue. So anyways, my new frag racks, replacement frag racks for the new ones that showed up that were broken. That are by Smart Reefing off of eBay. Also designed to stick to one inch glass with some outrageous sealed magnets those have been installed today and you'll notice all the starry polyp and now all the pulsing zinnia that is starting to take over like weeds in the tank I have decided to re-aquascape this tank here in the very near future. Possibly next week. Come on. Quit photo bombing, buddy. <laughs> so as you'll see downstairs, I have done some aquascaping. Oh no, you're such a pain. And got rid of all the green starry polyp, as you see over here. And on top, jeez, Mo, aren't you something, dude? You're just all about it, huh? All about it, yeah, yeah. So I'll head down here to the freshly completed fish office. <laughs> My fish room, mad scientist lab. I want to give a shout out to Reef Builders and Jake Adam for his hospitality and kindness. Very efficient system. Made it efficient. My basketball sized anemone. And re landscaped. 
Got rid of all the starry pollen. And the $500 add-on tank. Making my system 425, 420 gallons max capacity. Unfortunately, when you buy a $500 tank, to truly light it up correctly, it takes $1,000 worth of light. <laughs> Well, at least $829, as I was so impressed over my own handmade lights even, with the moon cycle and all the added gadgets, versus an Apex VDM controlled lights that I have upstairs that I handmade. I am really happy with the XR15 G5 Radions, Ecotech Radions. Have little plastic covers to prevent a little glare, and my LED retrofitted aquatic life T5 light fixture. Um, basically, a thousand dollar light to light a five hundred dollar tank, 80 gallon tank. So, that's kind of the drawback to this hobby. Is good lights will cost you a fortune. So I went ahead and ordered two more lights yesterday from aquacave.com. If you write up or ask their service department, um, they'll cut you 10% off. So it brings down lights from $923 to $929 or something after my aqua points. Had a few points on there. So two more XR15s coming. G5 Blues. And saved a hundred bucks basically on them two lights, the new ones that I have coming, and decided that I didn't want to spend hundred and sixty dollars for a suspension kit to hang those two lights. So for a whopping four dollar two before, I split up on my table saw and made a wooden frame, pulled the suspension kit off of my old handmade light which I wasn't so happy with and decided not to reuse it. I used it for a couple days, decided it had some wicked hot spots. So my other handmade fixture is gonna go on a shelf somewhere. And I have done a few things to my system, including ventilating the canopy upstairs on the big tank. Um, to relieve some heat and cracking a few tops and the added extra tank has helped to actually cool the system off so instead of eight or nine times a day the chiller cycling I've got it down to six times a day so I've improved my cooling system and this is my main sump of course everything runs downhill even from upstairs and everything down here all runs into this main cell. So, I've actually improved my cooling system as well. And by making my own little rack here to hold my future Radions. And another reason I went with Radions is I had bought four of these Kessel A360Xs. One was a Tuna Sun, the other three were the blue color. Um, tuna, whatever, tuna blues. Um, this is the last one left out of four of them. And all, all three have expired within 18 months of being brand new. So no longer a Kessel fan, as you can see why, as I threw $1,400 in the trash. And after I made special brackets and everything off of an aquatic life brackets I ended up opening them up made them bigger to fit the Kessel A360s before they ever made them and so those, these are basically trash I pulled the last one out to temporarily light this tank until I can get the G5s on one so saved $160 on my handmade little trough 
basically to hold those light fixtures. So all in all, I saved about 260 bucks off of making my own stuff. So happy with everything that's going on so far. Happy with the addition. And really happy that I've got 420 gallons to play with now. So I'll give you a view of the new frags tonight. Courtesy of Jake Adams and Rate Builder. little one this one is mine prior and also you'll notice the grafted spot is healing over so even I have learned a few things from mr. Adams as we call him dr. Bob Ross of the fish world <laughs> sorry Jake I had to do that you are a master at it and these are some of mine too. And I picked up a couple peppermint shrimp. A couple wee little babies. And unfortunately my Timor Rass has killed a large peppermint shrimp and a really old uh, skunk cleaner shrimp which I've had for at least five years. He ended up gutting both of them within a week of each other. So during the new aquascaping, of this tank and rearrangement and pulling everything out I managed to catch the grass and have now made this tank shrimp and hermit crab safe again as well as this one so adding a few more hermit crabs here shortly possibly a couple from upstairs since I have some really large Halloweens and blue knuckles that I really like watching and let's see what else Refugium has produced another five gallon bucket of keto yesterday, even after cleaning the screens and scrubbing the algae. So it's still doing well and taking care of my system. And the newly added freshwater beta tank. And I don't know if we can see any loaches tonight. Most of them are hiding down in there. Oh, I see one. Believe it or not, there's six of them in here, and the most I've ever counted at one time is four. And that's usually way late night when the lights are out. So everything's doing good in here. Happy. I'm happy. Critters seem to be happy. I'll be glad when the new lights get here about tomorrow. As I've had really good luck with these so far on this tank for the moment. So they got moved and swapped over to the other tank, the new one. Like I said, it's unfortunate you can buy a tank set up for 500 bucks and then you go to do the light set up and it's a thousand or more. So there's a trick to save you a few bucks and a tip on where to get them for almost 150 off if you include the tax so there's where you can get some radions it's aquacave.com and ask customer service for any discount code codes for ecotech anyways have a great night those are my updates for this week and i'm really happy with my fish office slash fish room slash equipment room so everybody have a great night and subscribe if you haven't. Thumbs up are always appreciated as well as questions. All right. Take care, everybody.